them hide from Christ. So for us, as Christians, in the name of Christ, we have to live according to that light. That's why Paul today reminds us about this vocation of ours to live. The response for our son is easy to remember. Behave like God as his very dear children. So I think that's a very good reminding for each and every one of us that we have to behave like God as his very dear children. If we're able to do that, I'm sure we're able to love our neighbor as God loved them. And how can we do this? On our own, we're incapable because we are so weak. That's why we have always to unite ourselves with our Lord. The beautiful verse here from the psalm, that person is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prosper. Because we are receiving that living water from Christ. And we are able to receive that through the sacraments. Sacrament of confession. If we wander away from sin, we have to come and humble ourselves before God and ask for forgiveness. Then when we receive the Eucharist, we receive tremendous grace from God in order for us to live as truly children of God. In that way, we can express the love to others like today's gospel. Jesus, when he saw this woman who was tormented for 18 years, tormented by the devil, the woman did not say anything. But when Jesus saw that because of that love, that he has for those who are suffering, especially those who are tormented by the devil, Jesus cured this woman. He transcends the law of the Sabbath because of the need of the woman for 18 years. So here it's so clear that Jesus acted based on love, not because of any law, it's because of that unconditional love that our Lord Jesus has for his people. So in order for us to live this call, we have always to unite ourselves with the Lord. Only when we are truly united with the Lord, we are able to do things and behave like God's very dear children. Let us pray. Let us, as children of light, present our petitions to the Father. For the church today's world, as she continues to serve as a fullness of truth, goodness, and beauty, let us pray to the Lord. For those who lead nations, may they be guided by God's spirit of love and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are ill or infirm, and for those who care for them, let us pray to the Lord. For our community of faith, may the light of Christ guide us in our discipleship, let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, may they rest in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the living and diseased members of the Shoner, Wagen, Brenner, and Miller families for which this must be offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Loving God, listen to the prayers we place before you today and answer them in your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, you're going to have received this bread we offer you. 
Fruit of the earth, work come and answer the call for us, the bread of life. My dear mistress, one and one come. Christ will humble himself to serve with our humanity. God of all creation, for your good and receive this wine we offer you. For the divine work and hands will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, contrite heart, may we accept the good Lord and may sacrifice your side this day will be seen to you, Lord God. Lord, was so many good against me from my sins. For my dear sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings you make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of honorable holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, 
Mother of God, blessed Joseph, our spouse, to the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, honor, is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, so our will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Love of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. I'm mingling on by the blood of Christ, you're allowed to receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, give and save to our life. Amen. The body of Christ, give and save to our life. Amen. Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering to God. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. Now I desire to receive into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive sacramentally, come at this spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. Unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separate from you. Amen.
Then a spray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science we may one day possess in truth to Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, love, and serve the Lord. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us and Bada, be our protection against the wickedness and our of the devil. May God to be okay, we humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, the power of God, trust into hell, Satan, all of the spirits who prowl about the one who rolls souls. Amen.